Welcome back to Home Studio Production Basics. This is a series all about helping you up your production value in a home studio situation. Here on episode eight, we're gonna go really deep into my switcher, which is the Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro ISO, but specifically how you can work with files on it, either through FTP, kind of create a NAS setup, a network attached storage setup with your ATEM and the hard drive that's connected to it, which you record videos onto. So let me try and clean this up and clear this up straight away. If you're not familiar with the Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro ISO, very popular switcher for home studio situations. Yeah, it does audio, but mainly its purpose is to control the different video shots. It can send my signal out to a live stream, for example, stuff I do on YouTube, but it also has the ability to plug in a hard drive like I've got in here right now, like I'm recording this very video on that hard drive. But, but therein kind of lies the issue. Now that I've recorded this, I'm not going to edit it here in this same room. I'm going to have to take that hard drive away, bring it back to my other computer in the other room, plug it in. So I constantly am shuttling this hard drive between rooms, between places. Wouldn't it be so easy if I could record it here on this Blackmagic, right, on the A10 Mini Pro ISO, I could leave it here plugged in if I could somehow take the file off there because there's an Ethernet jack that runs right into the back of this. It's This has an IP address. And quite honestly, I'm embarrassed to say, I didn't even know I could do this until recently. I tried it, so now I'm going to pass it along to you. How you can access files so long as the switcher is turned on and your hard drive is plugged in via your home network. Okay, I'm on the computer now here, and I'm using something called CyberDuck. It's just a simple FTP application. You can pretty much use whatever one you like. Uh, this one has just worked out for me. And full disclosure, I'm not actually connecting to this ATEM, which I'm using right now, or the hard drive, the actual one sitting right in front of me that I'm recording on. I'm not sure if or how that would actually work. So I've got my other ATEM plugged in to the other room via the Ethernet and a hard drive also attached to it. And I know it's IP address, so that's the one I'll be connecting to. So I'll open up this connection. I'll make sure it's an FTP uh, transfer. I've got the IP address, which is 10.0.0.125. And no username or password. It's an anonymous login. I'll hit connect. And look at that. Just like that, there's my file structure. That is the drive, the A10 Pro. Now, I have noticed here, at least in my home studio situation, there is a little bit of a lag for it to initially come up and for it to initially access the files and then for me to copy them over, but still way faster than me having to walk the hard drive into the other room, bring it back, potentially lose it or leave it somewhere. Uh, let me take this file, for example. It's 268.2 megabytes, so fairly decent in size. I don't know. That's a average recording I probably do here in this room. And yeah, it's taking a second. And I don't know if that's my setup or whatever, or if it's the hardware, but it takes a second to get going. But once it does, it's quite quick. And you can literally see how fast that is. I've, I'm stealing that, that video file, that recording off the ATEM and the hard drive in the other room. I'm bringing it here in my home studio, putting it on my studio computer just like that in five seconds, it's all done. So way faster than lugging around a hard drive, potentially leaving it somewhere, leaving it in the other room, constant plug in, plug out. Um, yeah, I, I, I prefer this to be quite honest. I can't believe I did not know how to use this. By the way, this is if your hard drive is plugged into an ATEM, a switcher, but this exact same setup works if you also have one of the new HyperDeck Shuttle HDs. Hard drive plugged into it, it has an IP address, you type in the IP address, anonymous login, and there you go. So hopefully that helped you. Let me know in the comment section below if you're using this or if you have any other tricks that I need to know about with the ATEM.